Welcome back to The Factor Uncensored. There are a lot of strange food addictions out there, but Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer takes the cake. She loves mattresses and not cake. Take a look. My name is Jennifer, and I'm addicted to eating mattresses. I like my mattress plain and straight up. I know mayonnaise, butter, <laughs> none of that. There's like a hard texture, like my taste buds are little, you know, kind of like, like a guitar. My God in heaven. Can you believe that? Jennifer and that damn mattress or mattresses. They said she's eaten eight over since she started her addiction to mattresses. Shanita, what, what do you think about that? I think addiction is real and people <laughs> think about addictions being a drug addiction or a sex addiction or some type of alcohol addiction but there are all sorts of addictions and she definitely has an addiction can she imagine how harmful that is to her yeah exactly and jasmine we know every eight years or so or as soon as you think it's necessary, you're supposed to get rid of those mattresses because there's so much body sweat in those mattresses and she's eating them. I, it's, it's unbelievable. I mean, the mind is so crazy how you think you can eat a mattress. Like, Lord have mercy. Like, I, I, have, I, I, this is crazy. And she said she loves them after sex too. So uh, oh. she ain't sleeping and having sex and then eating the mattress too that she did all of that on. But anyway, Shanita, uh, we all have strange food addictions. We're yeah. both from Baton Rouge and somehow we yes. ate the same strange thing as a kid. Uh, mine was Argo starch in that maroon or burgundy box with the white outlining. Argo starch, which you use in your clothes. And I saw my mom and sister eating it and I said, give me some. And I got addicted and hooked onto it. I haven't had it in a while, but what's your addiction, Shanita? Well, back then, my addiction was really the Argo starch. I didn't eat with my mom and my dad, <laughs> but my neighbor, um, which was like another mom to me, she ate Argo starch. I would go to the store and get it for her, the corner store. And um, so I just started eating it. I just absolutely adored the crunchy, you know, I'm a textures person. It was crunchy and, you know, um, but I tell you, a lot of, most people crying, that I know. Crying that, here because that sounds like me. <laughs> yeah, I'm such a texture person and it was crunchy and you had to know just the right amount to put in your mouth <laughs> so that it wouldn't be overpowering and I had it, it down to almost start bubbling in your mouth. It was Absolutely. Absolutely. Or it was hard to swallow. Yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah. you had to know the right amount. But I'm Say, most people that I know are from Baton Rouge that ate Argo starch, but I talked to my husband and his mom, and he ate <clears throat> Argo starch as well. Now, and your I'm husband glad works with me, Todd Smith. He works with me at Fox. Yeah, and he's from Beaumont, Texas, but his mom is from Louisiana. So I don't know if it's a Louisiana thing or not, but Argo starch is real. <laughs> <laughs> I started thinking about it and I was like, mmm, <laughs> man, right now. Ryan, but I can't perfect. find the, the, the Argo starch. <laughs> yeah, you can't find it anymore. So, mm -hmm. Jasmine, what's your strange eating habit that you had or you still have? I, I hopefully I had, but I had an addiction to baby food. I, and it all, <laughs> and it all started when I had a little sister and, you know, I would feed her, and I'm like, oh, this, this looks interesting. Like, let me, let me have another one. I'll be, like, in the back just not feeding her, but feeding myself. And then it's just, I would go to the store. Once I got my license, I'm like, I'm going to go get some baby food and get the apple banana mix cereal or apple banana <laughs> <laughs> oatmeal cereal. <laughs> How long did you do that? Um, there's times where, like, I'll have a period of times. I'm like, okay, I'll go get one, and that was like last year I, i'm gonna be honest like i had some baby food last year in the summertime i'm like why not i mean it's good <laughs> it's so and it's so easy and it's so easy to digest like i mean it's well it is baby food right it is. <laughs> <laughs> now now shanita you and i both know and, and and when you grow up and you have a lot of 
elderly people in your family, hear about the stories of individuals who used to eat like dirt and all of that. And, and they, they relished it and they loved it. It's just strange how we as humans have these different strange eating habits. As we get older, we learn and we do better. So no, I don't eat Argo starch anymore. Um, but I mean, think about all the things that we did do um, and that we saw our four parents do. And we look at it now and we go, medically. <laughs> How did they you know, survive? How did we survive? Exactly. Well, we want to thank you guys for joining us uh, on The Factor Uncensored and taking me down memory road with Argo Starch and the new one, Baby Food as an Adult. <laughs> Save some money there. Thank you guys for joining us here on The Factor Uncensored. And we'll